Today on Knife Banner, I'm bored of the studio. How's it going guys? Welcome to Knife Banner and today we are checking pockets. Now we got Kurt right here. He's busy, but we need to see what's in his pocket at least. What do you got, man? You know, you know what it so is. Majestic. You know what it is. <laughs> oh yeah. It's got a real good story, guys. We'll have to tell you the story sometime. How Kurt finally got a mermaid. All right, let's see what we got out here. So we got uh, this is David. Yes. How's it going, man? Good. How are you doing, Zach? Good, good. We are walking around checking pockets. What are you got pocket today? Um, today I have a Buck 112. Okay. Sweet. I have a Cold Steel Spartan Copus. Wait, is that was that inside the pant line? Yeah. Yes. So it has a really Nice pair of clip. It keeps it really low, and it actually, for how big it is, yeah, feels almost like nothing. Awesome, right really on, light. right on. And then I also have a Dawson Pacino. Okay, I yeah. I believe is how you say it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Pequeño. That's a cool one. It's in CPM 3B, and, um, but it's pretty small too. That's super cool. Three knives. I'm digging it. Yeah, thanks, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So as we're going around and checking everybody's pockets, we're also seeing how sharp their knives are. Okay. So we do a paper cut test. Oh yeah, you, absolutely. You ready for this? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, very, com very confident in that paper cut. Oh, no problem. Yeah. No problem. Like a champ. Yeah, this is. Oh, yeah. Butter no problem. No problem. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there you go, guys. Be like David. Keep your knives sharp. I've got my M4 Freak. Ooh. Okay. So, love that guy. Love it. Yeah, he does really well. Civivi. So, I want to say it starts. It starts with an I. I think it's like the. Oh, I can't remember which one yeah. it is. Impress? No, it's not that. Oh, wait, I, what was on the back of it? Oh, there's some, yeah. some customization? Yeah, I have Ooh. a custom engraving that I put on there. Look at that. That took me a long time. I've also got my dark timber Ooh. that I carry pretty much daily. <laughs> didn't didn't let us down with the fixed blade. No. We were telling him you're the fixed blade guy, so yeah. we, were, we had to make sure you had one on you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Nice. So, I try to keep it razor sharp. There it is. <laughs> so, it's pretty good. Guys, two out of two. Two out of two perfect paper cuts. Two out of two. All right, let's check in with Logan, guys. We're gonna see, uh, we'll see what Logan's got. What are you carrying today? Oh, man. Well, I've got my Lobo Loco Victorino. Oh, sure. perfect. Just love it. Yes. Classic knife. Classic. Love Blade HQ exclusive. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I just got to trust it. I'm in the returns position. You can see all this mess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to have a box scanner. Okay. So I got this outdoor edge <laughs> sidewinder. These things are like surprisingly rad, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I actually like these things. We're also checking to see how sharp people keep their knives. Oh, okay. So, paper cut test. Paper cut test. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so let's see. The razor blade, no problem. No problem. Uh, yeah, no see, problem at all. Cut. I should try to keep it in good condition. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm carrying a fixed plate, too, actually. Ooh, are you? Let's see, let's see. I like that a lot, man. That's cool. Did you design that or find it somewhere? I found an image that I, I just like bears, man. Yeah. And so I put that right there on the blade. Cool. Came out really nice. All right, let's see the fixed plate. No problem. See? No we problem. <laughs> we were surprisingly three for three on these knives being sharp. Thanks, man. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. George, yeah, how's it going? Before. It's going well. How are you? Good, good. good. All right, we're walking around checking pockets. Okay, so well, I have uh, pockets. What, what, are you, what are you carrying today? Kershaw Fraction. Great little knife. This knife I made. It's Ooh. pretty awesome. Okay. I've got this pen, Kenya copper. Yeah. I've got Rolite S2R baton too. Swiss Army knife, Super Tinker. My phone, my keys. Yes. Show us what you got. Fraction? No. Oh, so confident. <laughs> okay, there we go. I can keep going, boys. <laughs> Let's see this though. This, I'm interested in this. So you made this then? Yeah, I cool. love Bradford knives, but yeah, like yeah. I said, I got the hands of a 12 year old. Mine can't fit around, so I sort okay. of made my own design. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Right on, right on. Razor sharp too. I love it. Yep. Awesome, man. Cool. All right, uh, since we have you, mm -hmm. what do we got for sales and grails today? Sales and grails. So for sale, we've got the ZT0801Ti. This is one of the few Rexford designs still left. Yeah. I love me some Todd Rexford. This thing's great. It's a frame lock. Smooth flipper action. Who doesn't love a good rig? <laughs> and then over here we've got the Brad Zinker. Oh, what about what's this thing called? The Swayback Razor. That's what it's called. Going for 650. And this thing's got a very dramatic hollow grind to it. 
and I mean, it's like a straight razor, but a titanium frame lock too. Dude, that is pretty. All right guys, since, since we're in this area, we're also gonna see uh, what Jacob's carrying as well. So what are you carrying today? Well, I can't say I'm as well equipped as <laughs> our good man, George. But I got the trust, trusty Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and the S110V. <laughs> also carrying the JE Design BUK with the stag and the 3V steel. Cool, right on. Nice. I've not had a chance to build that one yet, though. It's pretty new. Yeah, yeah. There. Dude. Dude. Oh, it's Sean. You guys know Sean. He's got an Elko in his pocket. We already know he's got it. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a pocket check if we didn't go see what Gian had, because we know Gian's a baller. Gian always has something great in his pocket. Okay. Tenacious. Good old Tenacious. And... Yes! <laughs> the Praetorian. Nice. Perfect. Right on? Yeah, I got a bug yeah. out. And Ranger Green. Love it. Just remember, you're gonna have to paper cut test this now. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to paper cut test. <laughs> so, nope, it's... Nope, nope, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, this might be the dullest one we've seen yet. Yeah, this might be the dullest one yet. I bought it about a year ago and I haven't sharpened it. Oh my gosh. All right guys, it's getting spooky. All sorts of spooky scary up here. <laughs> We're gonna see what uh, Brendan's carrying up in customer service. All right, oh, guys, he's on a call. We can't, we can't bother him. He's probably talking to one of you guys, helping you out with the problem. So while we wait, I'll show you what I've got. I've got the compact, no surprise, best little pocket tool ever, Phoenix E12, a uh, special pen from, uh, our buddy uh, Peter McKinnon. If you don't know about this, check it out. It's pretty sweet stuff. I've been carrying fixed blades for the last couple days, last couple weeks for a video we have upcoming. So I've got the Bradford Guardian 3, some of that leather on there. But I got a Bradford Guardian 3 on me. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. No problem, no problem. I mean, that was a little chunky. <laughs> a little chunky, a little chunky. Good luck. That's. I don't know. We, we didn't prepare for this. We did not prepare for this. <laughs> what are you carrying? ZT, I don't know if you got focus yet. Oh yeah, I got focus. Yeah, ZT0640. So we'll Let's see, see how it does. Got here. Oof, oof, look at that. Oof, I, got uh -oh. the, I got the choil. <laughs> I've used it a few times. All right, now we're just waiting guys. We're just playing the waiting game. So we'll see what happens. All right guys, it wouldn't be Knife Banner if we didn't have the collection connection. Uh, if you guys submit pictures to hashtag BHQ collection on Instagram, we go through it and then we feature them in different knife banners. This week we are featuring Ragnarok blades. So he's got a pretty sweet little hand collection going on here. He's got that Micarta Biblio, you know, I love that. Little custom sheath for his Bic lighter. And then uh, that Alox, I think it's a cadet is what it looks like. Alox, Alox, however you like to say it. Anyways, sweet stuff from Ragnarok blades. Go check them out and uh, make sure to submit your picks and we'll feature them here on Knife Banner. All right guys, I think he's ready. I have a carbon fiber bug out. Mm. This thing is shave worthy. <laughs> uh, flashlight, that is the EO5. From, Olight, right? Yeah, from yeah. Olight. And then a CRKT Beta today. Whoop. Cool, right on. So, that's what I'm rocking today. <laughs> there we go. I mean, that's cardboard though. <laughs> She's sharp. This oh, guy, not, not, not bad, this not guy's bad. not the best in the world, but I don't need it to be. Not bad. All right, uh, we got one more, and we're gonna have the last person spin the wheel of indecision. Yeah. All right, guys. So last person on the list is Alex. Alex is new at Blade HQ. How's it going, Alex? Good. The launch nine. Launch nine. Got the mm -hmm. custom engraving there. Oh, what does that say? Ker Chow. Ka-chow! <laughs> See, Cars is Alex's favorite movie, unironically, correct? Unironically, you just, you just actually love. greatest movie of all time. Just like on the side? Yeah, yeah, just, just slice. Nope. Nope, not very good. Not very good, not man. Very good. I mean, I feel like this is a technique thing. It is, it's a technique. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, there, there you go. go. Well, we're gonna have you spin the wheel for us. Do it. Let's see what we get. Mystery. <laughs> Guys, 
Last time we landed on mystery, and that's why we're doing paper cuts. So that's not gonna work. We're, have to, we're just gonna have to roll again. We could roll what? it again. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Gotta go again. Soap carving. All right. <laughs> There's a fun one we haven't done yet, guys. So we are gonna do soap carving next time. Thank you so much for following along. It's always a blast to see what people have in their pockets. We'll catch you on the next one.